Okay, so this is going to be my roundup of my home theater. Lo and behold, this was not a room at all. It's 14 by 17 and literally was a wall to my outside. I walked into my kitchen and there it was. So decided my wife wanted to make the old living room or new living room, which it was. I had that, added that four years ago into this. So I decided to build this. So this is what it is. The color is called high speed steel. We'll start there. One window, black Bali wood blind. At night, I have the lights on in here plus the flash and it's still dark. So at night, this is so black in here, you can't see your hand in front of your face. 80 inch. And what I'm also going to do is hang a screen, 110, 106 in front of it. So it comes down, drop a projector right up there between, right in the wall. So here's what we got. Mirage Nanostats, omnidirectional. Great for the acoustics in the room. I was using bipoles and dipoles, but decided to go with these because they save space and everything was done. Deftech Super Towers, the, th the, th the, th the 10 inch subs in those. The Velodyne 12s, SPL. 1500 watt subs. Uh, I had them reversed, hardwood, hand scraped. Um, that center channel is a definitive technology. Mythos Solo XT. I actually have it run all center channel, wired in series right from DefTech. And a uh, guy told me how to do it. Man, it sounds incredible. There's not a bad seat for, for voice in the, in the house. There's a Bolivian plane. Absolutely looks insane, just so you know. Um, so crystal clear, it's ridiculous. Basically, couch, ottoman, all my video games are in that. That couch, those two recline, those two recline. I have everything wired in the walls. Literally 500 feet of speaker wire. 14.4 run through these walls. Double strands everywhere. Two going through, so if one goes out, something happens, same thing. The HDMI cables, there's four of them. Wired into the walls back there. I don't know if I can see it, show you or not. Four HDMI cables wired into the wall. Subwoofer cables wired into the wall. Everything has its own power. If I was doing this, I was doing it right. I was not going to have to redo anything. Future proofed myself against everything. Built the lights into the ceiling. Let me kill those. So, yep, ceiling fan, everything's done on remote control also. Did not want to have to screw with anything. Built-in wall, air conditioning, cooling unit, so this can be its own climate control. Now, what I'm using, the brand new Yamaha Avantage 3040 Emotiva uh, power amp controlling the five channel but it's controlling the front two old Toshiba HD DVD player there's my Sony uh, 3D Blu-ray player there's my cable box and that if you guys don't know what that is do yourselves a favor and Look it up. Everything wired in through the walls. Everything coming out through the walls. No cables showing 
anywhere because I don't want cables. If I can avoid it, don't want anything. The subwoofer cables were 50 foot subwoofer cables wired through the walls. The HDMI cables go over the ceiling. And I actually have spaces in the ceiling built in for height channels, even though I have the front wides and the front highs. I actually have stuff wired to the ceiling for speaker. If uh, I have to and or want to change it and put in the high channels. I did not screw around when I did this. The acoustics in this room are absolutely phenomenal. What I did do is soundproofing. The dynamat, underneath the walls, under everywhere, underneath the ceiling, textured ceilings, uh, literally under the ceiling, dynamat, underneath the drywall. Underneath the drywall, all the way around on all the walls, dynamat. Underneath the floor, dynamat. So there's no, this contains the sound totally of what the whole room does. Door closed, everything in. Don't have to screw with anything. So what I will do is I will fire up a couple different uh, movies, matter of fact. I highly doubt, especially I'm using the uh, LG G3 and um, let's see. So I'm running 11.2 surround sound. So uh, literally it's to me, you can't, you can't beat it. And this, even though this movie's not awesome, this movie's awesome for sound. So it's definitely worth um, listening to and or seeing what the system can do. You would weigh the subs. I have the subs actually sitting on uh, that's soundproofing foam boarded. So there's no screwing around. There's no additional reverberation from the subs coming through or from the, the deaf text firing side to side. Um, but needless to say. Check Harper, check four nine. Let's see. It's uh, absolutely insane. The Darby, what that does is like I said, look it up, guys. Do yourselves a favor. People think that they're not sure if it, it's worth the worth the money, but trust me, it's worth the money, especially for what it does. The clarity it drops into this is insane. Um, I'm going to go with the JVC X35 projector with a 106-inch screen. Like I said, suspended from the ceiling that comes down in front of the TV. Uh, audio uh, acoustically transparent, so. I, if I happen to cover up the edge of the front or the center channel when it drops, I'm not going to have a problem with it. So, it's literally insane. You can't, uh, if I could turn that damn flash off. All right, checks coming in line 30 seconds. Relaying hydro coordinates now. Contact visual. It's impossible to pick up what actual sounds sound like. Animated movies, watch them constantly with my kid. Drum 185 looks good. Absolutely phenomenal. So, quick overview of my setup. I will give you guys a better... Stand by, mission coming online. Better get up once everything else... When I get the uh, screen in, I'll, I'll do another video and drop it and show you. Like I said, do yourselves a favor. Look into that. And if you can afford the the Yamaha, the uh, Avantage 3040, their brand new high end, do it. Love the Emotiva stuff. Um, so yes, I will be running Atmos in this room. 
down in grid three seven. With no two ways around it, we'll be running Atmos and uh, enjoying it. <laughs> so I have the ability to run another probably well another four channels, which will be the two the two 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 ceiling mounted front and back. So. I'll have uh, be able to go uh, as many as I can in this room with Dolby Atmos and allowing them to uh, do what I need to do. But there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, and the paint is eggshell. So it's uh, non-light reflective. So it just sucks up the light as we uh, sit here. So even if you get any ambient to bounce, it just sucks it in. Same thing with the ceiling, the, uh, with, the, with that paint. Being textured, it actually sucks the light up better too. So just going to give you guys a hope you like it. Hope you like how everything looks. It turned out phenomenal. Like I said, 14 by 17. And I'm loving every minute of it. Thanks, guys.